what role would you say Purdue has had on your lives? That's a big question. What role has it not had? Yeah, I think it's it, at <laughs> Shorter this. Shorter list. Yeah, at this point, it's it's probably just woven into our DNA, and it's hard to imagine uh, a world. I mean, I just think about a world without Purdue in it would be a, a, a much less interesting place, and we have been so affected by Purdue in so many ways uh, that it's, uh, I think it's, it's basically in our DNA. One thing I, I would say that is sad, but it's not something everyone can do, is I had a second chance at Purdue. I went there as a student, obviously. Um, joining Purdue has allowed me to have that opportunity to be an ambassador, which I think is also very important to come out as an alumni being able to bleed the black and gold. But I had the opportunity to come back as a member of the Beering family and see a whole other side to Purdue. And I wish I could share that with more people who are a little bit more ambivalent about their relationship with their alma mater and to inspire them and excite them. Um, it's something that I can't reproduce for others, but I do try. And I'm, I'm so grateful um, you know, first of all, I have a good husband and a good father for my children, but it was nice to have that family and that Purdue connection in my life again. I, I never would have had what I have today if it wasn't for that. You just feel this warmth. I mean, Purdue just wraps its arms around you. And uh, and it's, uh, I don't think that has anything to do with our last name. I think it has to do with what Purdue's all about.